Hello fairy friends, it's Liz. I'm back with another video for today. I thought I'd hurry up and squeeze in another one while I still had my oil pastels out. I'll link the previous video I did earlier today. It was a little spruce up. I'm just going to call it a spruce up. It's not not exactly a makeover, but I spruced up a vintage Walker doll that I had. So I thought I'd just show you since I had this doll out. Um, it's just a cheapy um, porcelain doll. The reason that I kept her, um, she was in a box of dolls my friend dropped off for me. And I'm, everybody knows I'm doll crazy. And I can usually scavenge wigs, doll um, clothes or shoes. Um, in this case, this doll actually has some decent eyes, eyebrows, and freckles. So I really like her expression and how her eyes are looking off to the side. The side glancing eyes gives her a little character. So I'm showing you the oil pastels um, package. Um, they're different brands. This just happens to be what I have. My set has 48 colors and I'm using the Carmine which is the basically the red color of the bunch. On the previous video, I talked about how it actually um, looked more to me like a hot pink. Um, I'm also showing the russet color, which I don't actually use, but if you were wanting to mix the two colors, I just wanted you to see that you could totally do that and you could deepen the color a little bit by adding the russet. So here is how I loaded up the color on the brush and this oil pastels if you've not worked with them are the consistency of an old dried up lipstick. <laughs> they behave a little bit differently when you're using them on a canvas or paper which is what normally people use them on. Um, you can use them directly you don't use a brush but for our purposes we are loading up a brush. And here is the size and that's just for people who like to have the same things that people use in the videos but any any brush with that's that's of that shape should be fine and um, the difference between the porcelain and uh, composition or vinyl um, porcelain is very porous so it's really grabbing that color and it's not easily spreadable I'm not really able to spread the color as well on this porcelain and a little warning because it's porous it's grabbing those pigments so you want to definitely start low with the color so just a little bit of pigment and then build up from there because it's not going to be as easy for you to take this out, if at all. I did not try to remove this. So a little bit later I'll show you how I use it for blushing, but if you're not real comfortable yet with the oil pastels, um, please, like in the video I made earlier, you can use um, makeup, regular blush. Now I'm going to add the DuraClear high gloss and I'm just showing you the label on the bottle and you just need a little bit I'm showing like just way way more than you need for the project I'm really bad about that I'm just doing the lips but I think I put enough there for like ten dolls <laughs> and that's just not gonna let your 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 supplies aren't gonna last that long if you're doing that and I'm going to show you if you get it and it's settled and there's more yellow at the bottom of the bottle, you do a rocking motion with it rather than shaking it because you're going to get air bubbles in it. Now I'm working the gloss into the brush. So it kind of looks like I'm mixing the color on the palette, but really what I'm doing is getting that gloss really good and worked into the brush. And now this matte effect that I've um, created previously um, with just the oil pastel was fine how it was. You do need to seal oil pastels because they can smear. So I could have left it the matte and maybe put a matte sealer over it, but I'm choosing the high gloss just, I don't know, just to give it a little extra 
something. So, and then a lot of times I'll turn my doll upside down so I can work on the upper lip. And I'm just starting from the crevice and then pulling outward. And then using the side of the brush to make sure that I get along the, the lip line and the cupid's bow. And sometimes when you turn it upside down like this, then you can see whether or not you got your color all the way to the bottom of the lip how you'd like it. This doll's so cheap, she had a styrofoam pate. She had a, a chunk of styrofoam inside her head. And that's just me fiddling and making sure she had an asymmetry with her upper lip. So I'm kind of fixing that. I actually don't remember if it was like that already or if I made it when I added the color. But in any case, I'm just fixing that. Just making her lips look a little bit rosy and giving her a little bit more life. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm making her look better, but to me she looks better. Now I'm just skipping ahead because I was a little fiddly, fiddly with the color as I call it. And it is self-leveling. It's kind of like a, um, like a fingernail polish. When you go to stroke it on there, you see your stroke mark and then it settles. So, but there is a limit as it starts to dry, just like with uh, nail polish, there is a limit to how long, the working time that you have before it starts to dry and it can start to get a little goopy. So a cheapy porcelain doll is a perfect, perfect palette, perfect little practice place for yourself to practice the blushing in different materials. You could even do half and half to compare. Now I'm taking a dry brush without the gloss. No glosses on that. And because I said before this is a porous, the, the porcelain is porous, that is going to grab up that color. So I only want to put the lightest amount possible to start with. Chin, nose, forehead, and cheeks, and then I'm taking a cosmetic wedge and rubbing that in really well. And if you want to add more, then you can, but it's going to be a lot harder to take that back off. And I'm pretty pleased with her. Did she look nice before? Yes. Does she look better? Mm, maybe not, but she does look different. And I gave her a little bit of character. And I will show pictures soon of her in her curly red wig. Thanks for watching.